Welcome to a new edition of the Everlast Power Video Series. Today we'll be looking at connecting the accessories of the PowerTik 255 EXT and getting the unit ready to weld. We've included some of the best accessories to date in the welder package, along with a 9 series and a 20 series flex head TIG torch. We are also using extra flexible cables on the TIG torches with braided hoses and a denim cover. We've also included an upgraded stick electrode holder and a heavy duty bronze work clamp. Today we'll show you how to ready the machine for welding by explaining everything from the wiring of the welder to connecting up the TIG torches. Because the unit is dual phase and can be used with single or three phase power, the unit comes without a plug. Here you can see a total of four wires. The red wire is for three phase use only and when used with single phase 240 power it should be cut off or taped up out of the way. The white and black wires are the hot wires when used in a single phase welder system. They are marked as a reminder when hooking up the welder. The green wire is the ground wire. Note that this is different than a neutral wire. Welders require only three wires for single phase 240 volt operation. This is an industry standard. Do not use the fourth red wire unless it is used in a three phase mode. To install the gas regulator, check to make sure the valve seat is clear of debris with a short blast of gas. Snug the fitting in by hand at first. Then carefully hold the regulator with one hand while tightening with another. If the regulator tilts over too far, loosen the nut and twist the regulator back into position and retighten the fitting. Take the hose supplied with the Everlast welder and install the clamps on both ends. Tighten the clamp securely with a screwdriver or a nut driver. Check to make sure the compression fitting is not loose where it screws onto the valve body. If it is, tighten it so that it won't leak. Now repeat the installation on the welder side of the unit and check to make sure the hose is tight. To ready the unit for TIG welding, make sure the heavy duty work clamp is installed on the positive side of the unit. On this unit, the positive side is located on the left. To install the air-cooled 9 series TIG torch, install the main connector into the negative side which is on the right. Notice the single piece design of the torch. The remaining connection to make is the quick connect of the gas line. The gas line disconnects simply by pressing back on the collar. The Watercool 20 series torch has three connections. It's installed into the same location as the 9 series. However, the same line that was the gas line on the 9 series has now become the water return line from the torch to the cooler. The remaining two lines are the water in line from the cooler and the gas line. The gas line is a smooth hose while the water in line has a braided appearance. Next we'll make the connections for the foot pedal and or the torch switch. Simply take the 7 pin connector and plug it into the plug marked control. Make sure the locking collar is screwed down completely. To weld in stick mode, make sure the work clamp is placed into the negative position which is on the right side of the unit. The electrode holder should be placed into the positive position which is on the left side of the unit. Most all electrodes use this polarity configuration while stick welding. This concludes today's video. If you have any more questions about the Everlast PowerTig 255 EXT connections or operation, please see our other videos on this unit or give us a call at the number listed above. Thanks for watching.